Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final. The Caesars Casino.com Snooker Shootout. Brought to you by World Snooker. We're live on Sky Sports HD. It's time now to meet the finalists. Well, 64 came and only two remain. It's time to meet 00147, whose name is Bond. Nigel Bond! Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome from Gloucester, Robert Neil Folds and Clive Everton will talk us through the next 10 minutes of history. Sky viewers, for your eyes only, a Bond adventure. Nigel Bond versus Robert Milkins. 32,000 for the winner and the trophy. 16,000 for the loser. They're about to play the most lucrative 10 minutes of their career. Nigel Bond wins the lag. Milkins versus Bond. 20 second shot clock in operation. Let the final shootout begin. I would say that uh, a cool head is the chief attribute that Nigel Bond has shown in reaching the final. Robert Milkins is advantage is that he's a naturally quick player. Nigel Bond's always been very cool. I remember the match of the Crucible where he beat Stephen Hendry on a re-spotted black in the final frame. Cooley knocked it into a middle pocket. When he won the British Open it came down to the last couple of shots as well, like you say. Cool as a cucumber. But both players out there had their photo time trophy. So it's really hit them both now that this is a great chance to pick up silverware. Great start from Robert. He may be forced into taking a chance here. The place is absolutely buzzing. Well, already a pressure shot there early in the piece. Although it could have come slightly worse. I wonder if Nigel can reach over and avoid queuing over the blue. He can. That's in his favour considerably. gone into that cluster of reds he's close to a lot of them not many of them actually go that one clearly doesn't so he's got to play safe so early reprieve for Milkins Nigel Bond six Well, a dangerous shot. I think he thought it would be safe, but he's left the red that he played, which can often happen. One. So Bond is in close round the black. How long can he stay there? Well, it's a little congested around uh, 
the middle of the table. It will be quite difficult to make a big break here. Well, he may have pushed a red potable to the right middle pocket here. Well, he's slightly fortunate. Stay down on this one. He wasn't absolutely sure it was in. Went into the bunch with uh, a little 14. more pace that time, but still not that good. No, far from it. It's the reason he missed that shot, Clive. To understand these two players being somewhat edgy. I think there is potable. Well, is he going for one here? Maybe with safety in mind. Well, I think he played that shot. That's a wonderful plant. He almost played it so well that he got the cue ball a little. Uh, he did look at that shot. I think he's played it. Now, a reminder that he can't roll behind the yellow. He's got to hit a cushion with the ball. Well, he's certainly done that. And. Attempt to the left corner for Nigel. And one I don't think he can possibly refuse. So it's the only way he can hit and the only one he can pop. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> don't think about the money, don't think about the occasion. Just think about the shot. He's always been a pretty fast cumin. It doesn't take an awful long time on shots. Five. And, as you saw there, 45 years of age, he still pots long balls, which is sometimes the first thing to go at this game. Six. Well, he's got his nose in front. 15 seconds shot clock in operation. Nice nudge on a red to the middle pocket. Mm, he's annoyed that he's gone too far. He played on the yellow overrun. So now he's got to get the extension on his cue. And he's going to try and chip the pink in. Thirty-eight in front. Twenty-one. Match winning chance, tournament winning chance. Oh, lovely little nudge there. And your mind goes back to that long red that he started this break with. It was just about the only red he could see. Twenty-five. And very cool, he knocked it in. Available was yellow spot, so Michaela had a little jog around there to save time. This is all one way traffic. Mathematically, Milkins can still win as Nigel checks. It's 59 on the table. Will he get the chance? Has he got the time? Match ball, barring snookers. It's always the most difficult one to pop. Milkins has flown around the table to take his last possible chance. From what we've seen, it is possible, just. But that is not a good shot. He needs to be on the black, he's the wrong side of it. 
I think he's got to try and pot it. I don't think there's any other option but to find a way of knocking this black in somehow. That was his last chance, surely. Bond, 55 in front, only 51 on the table. No frame has been won from one snooker needed. I guess the best possibility is to get ball in hand. But there again, that has to come after a bomb 16. foul. Yeah, well, which Nigel won't be rushing to take the shot either. Well, both players can be very proud of themselves, how they've adapted to the system. Does look awfully like Nigel Bond, though, is going to win his first title for an awfully long time. Supportingly, Rob Milkins taps the table, he's in a very difficult snooker to hit. This is just about over this match. Forty-five seconds. Bomb the proverbial mile in front. This is academic now. Nigel Bond is going to walk off with the trophy. Well, Nigel's a great lad, he's been on the tour for many years and he's going to claim some more silverware and well done to him. Deserves everything he gets. Shoot out.